I'm sorry, but um, to, can't be present with you in this uh, event. Uh, but uh, it's a good uh, opportunity to be online, better than nothing. I, I think that uh, it was um, a good uh, a situation for the pandemic is this uh, sharing meetings online and presential. So I'm going to speak a little bit about geodesy in Portugal. I'm from DGT, uh, the responsibility of uh, geodesy in Portugal mainland and the definition of the referentials. Uh, as you all know, and Laura said, geodesy is the science of studying shape, size and gravity field of the Earth. Uh, we have all this slide from the UNGIM that related geodesy with impacts in the environmental, the economics and the social. Uh, taking care of that, uh, the geodesy mission of uh, DGT is to establish and maintain the national geodetic reference systems and frames. For doing that, we have the geodetic network, the responsibility of the GNSS continuous of course network, leveling network, tight gauges, and gravimetric network. So uh, we have the different referentials, if you know, in Porto, mainland, of, and for the islands. Uh, we still use the ETRS-89 based in the Iberia-95, a project with uh, Spanish colleagues. Uh, we have to update this reference system. For the islands, we have the base in the, the data is based in ETRF-93, and we have to update also this system. Uh, probably for the ETRF, 2020, we have to do some studies with our colleagues from universities. Um, doing that uh, about the RENEP, Portuguese Course Network, we have 47 stations, 42 in mainland, 4 in Azores and 1 in Madeira. Uh, we have uh, actually upgrading the stations, so we have 16 new stations with LONAS and Galileo, 24 with GPS, LONAS, Galileo and Baidu, and only seven stations with GPS and LONAS. We have uh, for post-processing, post Linux files, and for RTK, uh, possibility that all the receivers can be used. We have two kinds of products, GPS and LONAS products, and GPS, LONAS, Galileo and Baidu products. Um, the international networks, we have seven stations that belong to European Permanent Network and three with the EGS stations, with hourly and daily data at 30 seconds and uh, streaming for the real-time availability. Our national geodetic network, we have a materialization of the national reference system, allows an accurate position. We have about 8,003 points in the mainland, uh, 523 in Azores, and 118 in Madeira. We have the first order network, like this one, that is the center of Portugal, located in Vila de Rey, a small town, that used the, the, the mar for a touristic point that uh, another opportunity to use the geodetic network. We are revising the geodetic network for mainland, so due to the new technologies using the uh, GNSS course network, uh, all these points are uh, getting out of use. So the cost of maintenance and uh, doesn't justify their maintenance. Very difficult the access and uh, very high the cost. So we are revising all these points or these 8,000 points for being with an, uh, 1, 000, 1, 
1,500 points, more or less. About 19% of the geodetic marks with a distribution for um, case of emergencies because they, about 200 years, I think they uh, will be there for another 100 years with small maintenance and so you are in trying this project. We have two tide gauges in the Cascais that was uh, installed in 1882. It's still working, it's a boreal uh, tide gauges. And we have one in, in the south of Portugal in Lagos. It was uh, installed in 1908, a uh, boreal also, but these uh, tide gauges have to be replaced with new one. Um, in Cascais, we change for a new a new place near the marina. So we had the opportunity to maintain the old tide gorges and still working. We still have the Maragrams. Uh, in the new building and in Lagos, we have a new uh, tide gorges with the radar technology. The tide gauges was uh, with go, installed with goal of definition of vertical reference and the determination of mean sea level. We have a radar technology for water leveling sensors. We have uh, that the mean real time data for a lot of uh, places like permanent mean permanent sea level service and sensors for measuring water temperature, air temperature, and pressures. We have a platform for uh, the water level pressure. These data are sent also for a lot of uh, institutions in Portugal for the uh, tsunamis control, for the enter of uh, Lisbon port. So it's very useful for another institu institutions than DGT. Also for international networks, we have some print screens for IOC level monitoring that the data are sent in real time. The study of the old Marogre, uh, Mar uh, tide gauges, we had the digitalization of all the Marograms since 1882 until now, till 2021. The study of that uh, data, digitalization of the data, uh, makes a long, long historical data that uh, we can see that the, the sea level in Cascais is rising, really rising. For the high precision leveling network, we have uh, with gold vertical reference materialization and they correctly know the altitude. So we have leveling marks. This is our first leveling mark, MP1, located in Cascais, the origin of that, the vertical datum. Uh, we have about 5,000 kilometers of lines with 4,500 benchmarks, 20 main lines, nine secondary lines, and set deriv derivations to the border with Spain. We, uh, we need to revise these, uh, these observations to revise these marks, but maybe in the near future. For the gravimetry, we have the determination of the intensity and variation of Earth's gravity field, as you know. We have three absolute gravimeter stations, Gaia, Mertle and Cascais. Cascais, meanwhile, was destroyed due to some excavations, archaeological excavations. We have more than 6,500 relative stations with 1.25 kilometers, square kilometers. Uh, these observations was doing in the 90 years. Uh, we have the, the gravimetric points in the mainland. To all these observations was used to determine the geoid in Portugal. This uh, geoid was um, the, calculated by the University of Lisbon, João Catalão, with uh, the collaboration of uh, Miguel Sevilla from Spain. To, so it's already they have we have also 
um, gravimétricos CO de fora Açores, de Central Group and for the São Miguel de Santa Maria, not for Flores and Corvo. And we are processing the Madeira um, geo also in the old gravimetric observations of the Iberia Peninsula and, and Madeira and the source and Canarias. The source region is um, um, an organism that is responsible for the REPRA, the Source Oars Network. They have PDL and floors that are DGT stations, but Furnas and Vila Franca, Vila Franca do Campo in São Miguel. RAEG is a APN station that belongs to the VLBI station. Santa Maria station, Terceira, Graciosa, Feial, Pico and Queimada in Topo in St. George's Island because the control of the earthquakes. They are doing recognition of Shedetic Mars in the Source Islands and recognition of Levely Marks in San Miguel. In Madeira, there's another um, institution. They are responsible for the Repgram, Madeira Coast Network. They have four, actually four stations, but they are a new project that going to have seven stations in all the Madeira and Porto Santo stations. They are also the recognition of geodetic marks in Porto Santo Islands, like this one. All recover and we all see. Uh, research projects that are made in, in geodesy in Portugal, I just um, contact my colleagues from the university universities and the, the, the institutions and they have uh, a, a, a summary of the projects uh, related to geodesy that we are doing in, in Portugal and international projects with other colleagues from Europe and IGS, EPN uh, and other like EPOSERIC. I'm not going to talk all about it, but uh, this, uh, using the course network for monitoring the sea level, monitoring geodetic monitoring, um, crustal deformation, geohazards monitoring with GNSS, the control of mean sea level, and the problem with coastal vertical velocity is so with satellite altimetry and tide gauges. We have problems in the coast because of the sea level rise, so we are monitoring and have some studies doing the control of our cities, our coastal cities. We have the GEMO project with Galileo and Agnes monitoring of performance by member states, the GEMA, improving geodynamic models in Macaronesia, uh, is a project of our Institution of uh, Science. With Iapoceric, also for the European Plate Observing System, that's uh, it's a European research infrastructure, and so on. So I won't take you more time. I want to say this is some activities that we have to do, and everyone probably uh, know well, the difficulties of have people working and do all these things in tight gauges, leveling, GNSS observations. We do a little bit of things, including uh, inclusive um, constructions. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Um, obrigada.